Hello, and welcome to this video on importing recipients into the eFileMagic system. When you first log in, the dashboard screen will be displayed. Navigate to the system menu and select Import Data. There are two primary ways in which you can import data into the eFileMagic system. The first is via QuickBooks. The second is via our custom eFileMagic Excel template. We're going to focus on the custom Excel template today. To start, select Download Excel Template. This will download a copy of the Excel template into your Downloads folder. For the purpose of this video, however, we're going to start with a template that already has some data in it to help move this process along. So I'm going to open that now. When the template's first open, you'll be seated on the Filer Information tab. The section in yellow is for administrative purposes within eFileMagic. The section in blue details the Filer information that you will be submitting in this Excel template. So make sure the information is accurate. Start by selecting the year, the tax ID, the name, address 1, city, state, zip code, telephone number, an optional telephone extension, fax number, and email address. Now it's time to create some recipient. You'll notice below that each individual worksheet is labeled with a form ID. This is how you create recipients in the import process. We're going to go ahead and select 1099 miscellaneous. You'll notice there's already some information in our worksheet. Let's go ahead and add another. One thing to note is that each column corresponds to the corresponding field on the form, so it should be very simple for you to enter this information. And I'm going to go ahead and add some dollars into the non-employee compensation field, say 10,554. And now I'm finished, so I'm going to go ahead and save this, close it, and then to start the import, I'm going to select the file and I'm going to drag it over the Drag EFM Template Here section on my web browser. The system is now going to indicate to me that I have a filer active, and it's going to ask me if I would like to import into the existing filer by selecting Yes, or if I'd like to create a new filer by selecting No. I want to create a new filer, so I'm going to go ahead and select No. The system is now importing the data. The system has now imported the information and is asking me if I would like to review the imported recipients. I'm going to go ahead and select yes. You'll notice that all four of the recipients that were contained within my spreadsheet have now imported successfully. This concludes the video on importing data into the eFileMagic system.